How's it going, ghouls? Let's talk about Abbas Sofan, the mentor of the Levantine Brotherhood and the individual that Altair eliminated when he returned to Masayaf. If you don't remember, he's the one he shot with the hand cannon. Now, Abbas Sofan was a very corrupt mentor. He was also an individual that very much distrusted and was displeased with Altair and whatever he did. And it's very weird to say that because they were childhood friends for a point. But that friendship didn't last very long. Now, Abbas's father killed himself in front of Altair after a lot of things happened. Essentially, Abbas's father gave up Altair's father's name, and Altair's father took the execution in the releasing of Abbas's father. This caused that guilt where, essentially, Abbas's father committed suicide. Now, Al Mualam, who was the mentor at the time, covered it up, said that he just left and told Altair to keep it a secret. Now Abbas was in, was in distraught, became very different, wasn't focusing as hard, and eventually Altair confronted him and told him what happened to his father. Saying that Altair lied, they hated each other now. Well, he hated Altair, and never trusted him again. But they had to train with each other. And one day he actually attacked Altair during training, which got Altair and him both locked up for a month and led to further consequences where Abbas essentially had to train for a year longer than Altair. Now, to go later on in the story, there was multiple instances where you actually confronted with Abbas, where he either doubted and just didn't trust the orders that were given from Altair as Altair was higher rank, and there was the moment where essentially he did not believe in Altair when he eliminated their mentor. He pushed Altair off the cliff and started up the, the civil war again, causing all the chaos and everything, grabbing the apple of Eden and climbing up and looking over a war-ridden valley, a war-ridden Masayaf. Not being strong enough to hold the apple of Eden, Altair went and saved him. Someone that tried to kill him, Altair went to go save. Because Altair understood the torment and the distraught that was in his mind. Now, sadly, another thing happened with Abbas and what led up to Altair eventually eliminating him was when Altair left to go to Mongolia to deal with that whole incident, Abbas took over. That's when he became mentor. But in doing so, he killed Altair's son. Altair returned and then eliminated Abbas after 19 years. With Abbas's death, Altair returned Masayaf to its glory and the villagers and the assassins were peaceful again. Now, Abbas was a horrible mentor and a horrible assassin, completely riddled in his own mind. He was an individual that never should have kept being an assassin. But all in all, he did play many key points in Altair's story and a lot of judgment from Altair. And I think it really shows the good nature of Altair as a whole, as he is very trusting of individuals that are a part of the Brotherhood. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and follow.